the lush green coconut groves of southern Thailand, stretched out as far as the eye can see. Under the canopy, Nirun is setting off to work with his monkeys. With a few words of encouragement, he sends them up the trunk to the fruit that hangs at the top of the tree. These monkeys have been trained. They recognize the color of a ripe fruit and leave the rest. Using their hands and feet, they spin the nuts to break the vine, and the coconut drops to the forest floor, far quicker than any human could. The monkeys are roped throughout. Nirun freely admits they would run away otherwise, but it also looks like the working relationship of man and beast, and at the end, both get their reward. Nirun says this is far from animal abuse. They don't understand how we live as monkeys. They've never seen the farmers and monkeys living together, and we've had this bond for more than a hundred years. But PETA, the animal rights organization that wants the working monkeys banned, says it has strong evidence of abuse, and that exported coconut products should come from human hand alone. Their campaign has already seen 15,000 retailers reject Thai coconut products, and they say if things don't change, more will follow. Quite simply put, consumers are going to buy their coconuts from other countries, or coconut products from other countries. They're, they're not going to look at Thailand. Uh, the Thai government and the coconut industry there take no action. Thailand is the sixth largest exporter of coconuts in the world. And the government claims that monkeys are only involved in a fraction of their production. If all the monkeys in the entire forest won't be enough for the industry because we export hundreds of thousands of coconuts each year. And there are alternatives that the big coconut growers are starting to employ. And this is one of the answers to monkey involvement in the coconut industry, which is to use a genetically modified dwarf coconut where the fruit is close to the ground and can be picked by hand. The problem with that is these trees take seven years to reach maturity, and for all of that time, the farmer has no income. Back in his coconut grove, it's time for Niron to get to work as the monkeys look on. Yeah. It's a way of life he's loath to change. I feel sad because I've never tortured them. The only thing I've ever done is give them love. But as consumers turn their backs on monkey plucked coconuts, man and monkey may have reached the end of the road. Tony Cheng, CGTN, Suratani, Southern Thailand.